With the advent of seemingly greater industries, the agricultural sector is often threatened and left behind. And along with it are farmers who thrive on planting the seeds that feed us. Today we will be sharing of stories of agricultural practices by social enterprises and hopefully this will remind us that the simple act of taking care of our farmlands and our farmers is actually a big, big step in helping maintain a sustainable economy. Good evening, I'm Sean Yao and this is Business Matters. We're doing good is good business. tropical country, the Philippines is endowed with diverse tropical fruit varieties like the banana. Annually, over 100 billion bananas are consumed worldwide. The banana is also the fourth largest agricultural product in the world. In 2012, the Philippines was the second largest exporter of bananas after Ecuador. And since 2010, the country has been recognized as one of the top three banana-producing countries in the world, together with China and India. Barangay Buhanginan in Nagkarlan, Laguna is just one of the hundreds of banana-producing communities in the country. But more than the profit earned from the fruit, the locals of the barangay give higher value to the banana tree's leaf. 60-year-old Milagros Patara is just one of the local mothers of the barangay who earns her living as a banana leaf cutter. Bago dumating ang binalot, dati kami nagtatrabaho sa bukid, namumulot ng nyog, kung anong hanap buhay sa loob ng gubat. Pag dumating ang tag-araw, talagang wala. Pur na pur kami dito, walang hanap buhay dahil tuyo lahat. Tuyo lahat ang kabuhayan. A decade ago, Milagros was just earning as little as 2 pesos per coconut a day, not even enough to buy her family a simple meal. But thanks to the Dahon or Dangal at Hanap Buhay para sa Nayon program of a local food brand, Milagros and the local mothers of the community earn as much as 900 pesos per week, depending on the number of cut banana leaves delivered to the food brand. Simula nung dumating ang Dahon program, Yung iba nagsusumisigasig na magtanim ng saging kasi malaking bagay. Kasi nga naman, kahit dahon lang, hindi nila akalaing ang dahon pala'y magkakaroon ng programa ng ganito kaganda. Buti pa sila, dahon lang ang pinagkakakitaan. Kumikita ng ganun, nakatutulong. A normal production day starts with the men from the community carefully picking off the leaves from the banana tree. This process requires precision and a steady hand as to not damage the quality of the leaves. Minsan, pinagdadasal namin na huwag umangin kasi nga masisira ang aming dahon. The leaf pickers earn 100 pesos per production day. After the cutting process, they carefully fold the leaf like paper before delivering them to the mothers for finishing touches based on the food brand specifications. Ang pinadadala namin sa dahon program ay ganito ang sukat at haba. Barangay Buhanginan provides banana leaves to 27 out of 36 branches of this restaurant chain. The brand orders at an average of 38 bundles of banana leaves per production. Each bundle averages 500 pieces of leaves per order. Mas mahalaga ang dahon kasi mabilis ang pagkakakita ng ano, dahon. Ay kasi ang bunga, one year mo siyang hihintayin para, para pagkakitaan mo. 
eh, magkano lang ang isandaan ng saging 60? Eh, mantalang ang dahon eh. Pag sumibol ang dahon, pwede mo na ulit anihin. Ang saging, minsan lang yon, isang taon lang yon, hindi naman lagi-laging bumubuo ang isang mother saging. Nung wala pa yung dahon program na yan, halos karamihan dito ng mga tao, halos standby. Nang dumating ang dahon program sa amin, ay talagang malaking pasasalamat namin dahil nagkaroon kami ng magandang trabaho at isang pagkakakitaan na makatutulong sa aming pamilya. Large, flexible, and waterproof. But most of all, perfect for cooking, wrapping, and serving food. This is what banana leaves are best known for. With its aroma and subtle sweetness that lock in and complete the flavor of the dish. For the food brand heavily relying on banana leaves, it was crucial key to business and so was finding a community that they could work with. It works twofold. They would have a steady supply of banana leaves, and they could realize their mission of helping others. At the foot of Mount Banahaw in Nagarlan, Laguna, they found Barangay Buhanginan. In 2006, there was a typhoon called Milenio, and it wiped out the banana leaves in the whole of uh, Luzon. So we had to import our banana leaves from, from uh, the Visayas. So what we did was uh, we looked for the source of banana leaves in Luzon, and we found it in Nagarlan Laguna. And that's when we decided to adopt the community and form our own CSR. Malaki na improve sa akin mga mamamayan, kasi nga nung wala pa yung dahong program na yan, halos karamihan dito mga tao halos standby. The Dahon program's main focus is women and the elderly. Where jobs now discriminate against age, this restaurant chain wants to make sure that our senior citizens remain productive and restore a sense of purpose in their lives. Because uh, the elderly are there, and uh, a lot of their, their kids are working in Metro Manila or they're working abroad, but uh, they don't have a source of income. They're just waiting for, uh, for uh, money to be sent to them. But with our Dahon program, uh, what they do is they cut and they clean our banana leaves to our specs. And uh, they're very efficient with it. So right now, our community in Nagkarnan Laguna uh, depends on us. And we get 80% of all our banana leaves from the community. So now we're, we're happy to, to announce that uh, we are helping about 30 families in, uh, in the Carlan, and they call the area Barangay Binalot. When Milagros' husband suffered a heart attack, she was left to provide for the family. She didn't know where to find a job given her age, and she could no longer just wait for a coconut to fall to pay for her husband's medical bills. Dumating yung panahon na na-stroke siya, lalo siyang hindi nakapagtrabaho. Kaya nagpapasalamat din kami dahil meron pa rin kaming natitira kahit kaunting hanap buhay. Nang dumating ang dahon program sa amin, ay talagang malaking pasasalamat namin dahil nagkaroon kami ng magandang trabaho at isang pagkakakitaan na makatutulong sa aming pamilya. It's stories like this that affirms the brand's mission to uplift the lives of people they work with. And to think, the food brand's initial plan was just to serve Filipinos simple comfort food. 20 years later, they have empowered communities and enabled themselves to put food on their tables. I got to know about the Asian Forum for CSR, and that's where I learned that uh, you don't have to be a big boy to have a corporate social responsibility. So right now, uh, Binalot is the poster child for small business CSR. 
but because of our efforts, we're able to help. So that is our commitment. This restaurant chain has successfully become the Filipinos' fast food eating culture. But more than that, they pride themselves on the lives that they touched for simply wanting to do good business. They have been awarded several times for their CSR or Corporate Social Responsibility and the latest Akolod, the prestigious Green Apple Environment Award from the UK-based The Green Organization. Nyug, saging, yun lang ang ano, produkto dito. Bago naman kami makapulot ng nyug sa maghapon, eh, antayin mo yung laglag. Kaya nga nang dumating dito sa barangay na to, parang hulog ng langit kasi nga lahat kami nagkaroon ng hanap buhay. We plan to grow our CSR as Binalot grows. People hear about our advocacy, uh, they like uh, the brand better, you know, you, get, you gain goodwill. And even the team, you know, our employees, uh, when they come into Binalot, we orient them about our CSR and they feel better working for us and uh, the result of that is better service. This place is a biodiversified landscape. Planted in this place, uh, herbs and spices, fruits, uh, and uh, vegetables all around us. Uh, at the same time, you'll see chicken and some other animals uh, moving around. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, there are a total of 38.65 million people employed by the agricultural industry, a 30% decline from previous years. For Guillermo Saret, who held a high position in a big pharmaceutical company, leaving the city life and putting up an agribusiness instead was his way of slowly helping out with the employment regression. Guillermo June Saret started as a registered mechanical engineer. He worked at a national pharmaceutical company and worked his way up to become senior vice president. After uh, being exposed in agriculture, in pharmaceuticals, and growing a small business into a multi-billion company, being part of the management team, I saw how business being developed. During his time at the pharma company, June was able to work with people in rural areas who provide the raw materials for the medicine that they produce. We got all the initial manpower from this place. There used to be our workers in Yoni Agri Corporation, in one in the, in the company that I used to work with, they are the ones who cannot qualify to become uh, regular workers because of their limited educational background. So I told them that when I will have my own, I will get you first. So I, I, uh, I was given a chance to get them in my own company. It's one thing to decide to suddenly shift careers. And for June, it was a grand shift. But to involve your whole family and ask them to leave their jobs as well is a whole different story. This is the Saret Organic Farmville now. Lush and abundant, a far cry from how it was when they acquired it three years back. This place is a biodiversified land landscape. You can see together, uh, but in this place, uh, herbs and spices, fruits, vegetables all around us. Uh, at the same time, you'll see chicken and some other animals uh, moving around. This is our spice garden. Basically, we invite people here to showcase the herbs that we have. The farm also cultivates other herbs depending on the needs of the companies that they distribute to. They maintain taxonomy certified varieties for the various medicinal herbs that they grow, which is vital, especially for the pharmaceutical companies that they supply to. Most of the herbs, in particular, uh, came from the Sampung Halaman Gamot of the research for the government, with the DOST and the UP 
UP uh, Manila. These herbs are propagated not only here in Nueva Ecija, but in their other partner farms as well. Even their poultry and livestock, which are sources of some of their raw materials, are fed and handled differently. Dry po siya, linagyan mo lang po namin ng konting tubig. Mix ng darak at binded. So isa pa pong ginagawa namin yung fermented na pagkain niya na may halo naman pong molasses, tapos mga gulay. In most areas of the farm, they've practiced intercropping of different plants. For example, the lemongrass and calamansi plants which are used as ingredients for their biofunctional beverages are grown beside each other. Tinutulungan niya, no? uh, companion siya ng uh, bawat isa. Uh, either nagbubugaw siya ng peste para doon sa isang katabi or nagbibigay ng sustansya o nitrogen fixing uh, para sa lupa. A strategy that seems to be reflective of how their company actually works. We make a business model that whenever you buy a product, we will plant more trees. We will help more people. Sustainability is linking the market to the source in a continuous cycle. That's why we have a business model that we call GU Cyclics. Committed to their mission to promote sustainable and organic agriculture, they involve as many farms and people in creating their products. We're not limiting ourselves in this place. Uh, we go also uh, on some economically and ecologically challenged places so that we can tap those places as our supplier of inputs. Apart from this farm in Nueva Ecija, they acquire raw materials from other farms as well. We're getting our cacao beans, fermented cacao beans, from a uh, far place of uh, Aurora. They don't have customers. So we taught them how to ferment the beans, and then we produce our own cacao products, and they're supplying us. These materials are then manually processed into different products, such as laundry soap, chocolate bars, and even beverages. Part of their business model is to encourage more enterprises to grow. They lend part of their farmland for production by other enterprises and for research as well for scientists to cultivate naturally grown ingredients that can be used for medical advancement. We make a business model that whenever you buy a product, we will plant more trees. We will help more people. Uh, sustainability is linking the market to the source in a continuous cycle. That's why we have a business model that we call GU Cyclics. In the spirit of inclusivity, members of the staff working in the farm are mostly local residents that live near the area or within it. Couple Ariel and Marilyn, who live in Sitio Bacao, some 15 minutes away, have both worked with June several years before he even started the farm. Naging trabaho ko doon po kay Sir John. Mula po nagkakilala kami, eh, siya po ang malaking pong naitutulong sa amin. Nabubuhay din po kami tungkol dahil sa kanila, pagpaarap po namin mga anak namin. At malaking bagay po yung si Sir John para sa amin. June understands that they play important parts in the value chain and that they need people like Ariel and Marilyn as much as they need him. The business is relatively small and the family admits that they still have a long way to go. But having 7 hectares of land and access to 30 hectares more from partner farms to start with means having access to more people who can potentially be employed and more people to help grow the enterprise. Those who are now wagers we are trying to develop them into become becoming business people in the future. We would like to become beasts and trees. 
Today, we are bees, trying to build our own colonies and trying to raise and develop honey. In the future, we want to grow and to become the trees where we will be feeding more bees. And there will be more trees and more honey to be produced and more bees to be producing it around us. Do join us again next week as we share with you more inspiring stories of community and people whose lives have changed for the better. Follow us on Facebook at Business Matters PH or our website at www.businessmatters.com.ph. Again, I'm Sean Yao and this has been Business Matters, where doing good is good business.